Well, good morning, everybody. By the time this comes out, it'll be afternoon. And I saw something very interesting that, you know, a lot of times when people think of dangerous animals, you know, obviously there's some big ones. Um, I thought, you know, the, of all the things that killed more people, I thought people killed more people than anything else. Um, and of course, this is a little bit of an outdated thing, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they're talking about 2015 polls here, but between frightening movies like Jaws and tales about deadly animals encountered, blah, 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 according to 2015 poll from Ipsos, Ipsos, about half of Americans said they were absolutely terrified of sharks, and almost 40% said they were scared to swim in the ocean because of sharks. But according to the Florida Museum of Natural History, there were only 11 shark-related fatalities worldwide in 2021. You're more likely to be killed by a falling coconut the Australian Institute of Marine Sciences writes, but when it comes to dangerous creatures, what animals kill the most? I mean, I I don't understand why people still think that sharks kill way more people than they actually do every year. Like, it's, they are like literally the bottom of the list of animals you have to worry about. But because of the shark, people freak out. Um, while larger animals like sharks or hippos may seem to be uh, seem a likely culprit, the animals that kill the most humans per year is actually the mosquito. I mean, I heard about that, and it makes sense. It just doesn't really happen in the United States, so we don't think about it as much. I, I guess that I, that's my that's my thought with it. Mosquitoes can transmit life-threatening diseases like mar mar malaria and dengue, and World uh, the WHO estimates mosquitoes that carry these diseases kill 725,000 people a year. That's a lot of people. I mean, not a million, which if you really think about it, I mean, it's a small fraction of people that are, but that's one thing that kills people. Mosquitoes can carry many threatening diseases like Chikungunya, dengue, lymphatic filariasis, filariasis, rift valley fever, yellow fever, Zika, malaria, Japanese encephalitis, and West Nile fever. Other insects like fleas, lice, ticks also transmit similar diseases. I just thought it'd be funny to read those because some of them are just kind of ridiculous looking. Uh, top 10 deadly or top deadly animals. After mosquitoes, these animals are the most deadly to humans every year, according to Discover Wildlife. Freshwater snails. 200,000 deaths per year from freshwater snails. I knew that there were plenty of snails that like you're not it's very difficult to eat snails that's why like apple snails are like they could be a huge food source down here but they've gotten in you know the invasive ones have gotten in and there's nothing we can really do because no one wants to eat them because because a i've heard they taste like shit <laughs> and b they they carry like these these uh parasitic worms that can kill you and so you're not really, there's very few people who eat snails, except for, you know, the French. And I think they have a very particular way they go about doing that so they don't get worms and die. But yeah, don't eat snails. They're not, and that and slugs, same thing. They get like these parasitic worms that are just not good. Saw scaled viper. That one surprised me. I mean, I knew it was a lot. I knew it was a lot of people who died, uh, like India and, uh, the Middle East, these guys kill a lot of people. It's just because they live in areas where there are a lot of people and they don't really have many much access to medical attention. So, I mean, I knew it was high, but I didn't think it would be like third on the list. That's, it's like here in the United States, we have five people on average a year that die from snake bites. In other parts of the world, again, other parts of the world where they can't you know, have medical attention, it's more of an issue. Assassin bugs, 10,000 deaths per year. That surprises me. I'm pretty sure that's how Darwin died. He got bit by, they call them kissing bugs, but it's a type of assassin bug. And he got, like, sick from it and, it, like, lingered and ended up, like, I don't know if it was the actual cause of his death, but it, like, didn't help. Scorpions, 2,600. I did not know that. I didn't know scorpions killed that many people. 
I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot compared to, you know, 725,000. But, I mean, to be fifth on the list, that's that's a lot. Ascaris roundworms, 2,500 people a year. Never even heard of them. So, I wouldn't want to mess with that. Again, probably sounds like something that's somewhere not in the United States. So, that's why. Saltwater crocodiles, 1,000 people per year. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. I didn't think saltwater crocodiles killed that many people. But considering they're the top rung of, you know, crocodiles that kill people, alligators aren't anywhere near this list because they barely kill anybody. You know, they kill less than 10 people usually a year. Elephants, 500 deaths per year. I thought it would be more than that. I honestly thought it would be the saltwater crocodile and the elephants would be switched. And especially the bot, like hippos. I thought... I mean, so elephants kill just as many people as hippos. I thought hippos killed a lot more people. Oh, man. No. I mean, just... I don't want to mess with any of these guys. But it's like the big, the ones you think would do more damage barely have anything compared to the freshwater snails. That's nuts. How to protect yourself from mosquitoes. Okay, well, let's see. Mosquito deaths occur in some regions more than others. For example, according to the WHO, African countries make up 96% of malaria deaths. Yeah, that makes sense. Dengue, chikungunya, and malaria are also prevalent in Southeast Asia. WHO recommends steps uh, for limiting uh, breeding opportunities. Okay, you know, so don't leave, you know, like windows open and any standing water. And then th there's this. I did read a little bit of this. And this Vox is, you know, well, Vox is not, doesn't exactly have the best reputation. But this is kind of just weird name drops all of, all of a sudden. Bill Gates' blog posted a graphic saying that humans killed 475 other humans a year while mosquitoes killed 725,000. This post gained criticism and attention online in 2014 after it was posted, prompting a fact check by Vox who argued that humans should have the number one spot. While Vox agreed that mosquitoes posed a major health, health risk to tally a large death toll, they also argued that the number should be increased in, or should be including disease passed from human to human, like HIV and AIDS, and more timely, even COVID 19. The article also added that this number could include air pollution, uh, which is man made but gets tricky since the energy used to. Uh, use that lead ugh. since the energy use that leads to pollution also boosts humans well-being Vox reported so this article right here is just like hey humans suck we should make fun of humans some more that's all I read from this like Vox is like well yeah, we need a roughly 300,000 more deaths and I mean come on HIV and AIDS you know, the thing that hasn't been an issue since, like, the 90s. You know, I'm pretty sure, isn't there, like, PrEP and stuff now? Like, HIV and AIDS isn't an issue anymore. Not really. You, someone's going to be like, well, actually, you need to... Yeah, obviously. Syphilis is still a problem, too. But you just don't be an idiot and protect yourself. And there's preventative measures. It's not the same thing as it was in the 80s and 90s. You're not going to argue that against it. And then COVID-19. It's it's a it's a sickness that went through. That's not human to human. Like, that's not the same thing as a human killing another human. I, diseases should not... Like, animals can give people diseases. But mosquitoes specifically go out of their way to bite you and give you diseases. That, that counts. I don't, that, that's not the same thing as a human sneezing and you getting sick. It's not the same thing. It's not on purpose. You know, there's not like groups or areas where you're like, yeah, don't go over there because they're going to give you AIDS. <laughs> like, oh, those people over, those people over there have AIDS, so don't mess with them. They're going to give it to you. And then, you know, you go, you know, you're in Africa and they're like, hey, malaria is very prevalent here. We have some stuff that you can take, some shots, blah, 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 whatever, to protect you against the mosquitoes that just live in the area. Oh, you got malaria? Here, we're going to give you the stuff that 
might also kill you, but it'll kind of help with the malaria. Like there are things you can do preventative measures because those things go after you. Like mosquitoes go after you in order to breed. <laughs> I guess AIDS is kind of the same way. Oh God. It's not the same thing. I'm sorry. Um, an animal has the strongest bite force. Animals don't have to kill to be dangerous. A Florida uh, State University lab found Australian saltwater crocodiles have the strongest bite with a bite force around 3,700 pounds. Uh, this is the highest bite force we've ever recorded, but it's estimated that the largest extinct crocodilians, almost 40 feet long, registered 23,000 pounds of bite force. Okay, so what is happening? Like a thousand people die from crocodiles compared to. I guess AIDS in people, which kill a lot more, <laughs> according to Vox. <laughs> oh, man. Very interesting article. It really puts things in perspective. Snails and mosquitoes are the worst, the things you have to worry about the most, apparently, when it comes to other things killing you besides people and AIDS. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Patreon if you haven't DNA Reptiles on Patreon. Um, and yeah, if you like videos like this, let me know down below. Let me know what you think about this whole article. Am I off base or am I right on? I think I'm close. But thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay wild. <laughs>